the topic for the present video is differences between related substances impurities and degradation products i welcome all the viewers for the present video and it is a good topic to have understanding about the differences so many of the times the terms like related substances or related compounds impurities and degradation products are used in a same way or are treated as same sometimes these terminologies are used interchange interchangeably so this video is for having the understanding about the basic differences see control of the related substances impurities and degradation products are very important and these are very much required for the regulatory submission and approval because these impurities whether it is related substances degradation products or impurities these have the impact on to the quality purity standards safety and efficacy of the api and the formulation so these are required to be controlled ics guidelines usp monographs are there ep monographs are there then different pharmacopeial monographs are there to have the limits ics guidelines are generally referred for providing the limits for these impurities ics guidelines are to be referenced and studied for the detailed understanding first is impurity so as per the usp definition for a drug substance any component of the drug substance that is not the chemical entity that is defined as the drug substance or for the drug product any component of a drug product that is not the drug substance or an excipient in the drug product so simply impurity may be in the drug substance or in drug product so impurity is not the component of the drug and it is also not the component of the drug product also it is not a drug substance and it is not a excipient so these are the materials or compounds or substances which are called as impurities impurities may be organic inorganic or may be volatile or non volatile these may be metallic so many of the impurity types are there and mainly the organic impurities are considered here impurities that have the structure which is not related to the api or drug substance so the impurity structure is different from the drug substance structure that is the chemical structure impurities are not similar in structure with the api these may be formed during the manufacturing process of api or during the drug product manufacturing impurities may be formed during the storage period or because of the degradation of the api also impurities may be contaminations or contaminants or impurities may come from the raw materials these also may come from the container and closures impurities are difficult to identify and these may be identified unidentified specified or unspecified so impurities are those substances which have structure not related to the api then coming to the related substances so related substances are structurally related to the drug substance that's why these are known as related substances these substances may be identified or unidentified impurities arising from the synthesis manufacturing process these may come from the starting materials intermediates or by products and these do not increase on storage so mainly these are the process impurities you can remember these are related to the api and these may be the process impurities then identified or unidentified degradation products can result from the drug substance or drug product manufacturing process or arise during the storage of material so these may also be the degradation products 
and degradation of API may lead to the formation of uh, impurity or degradant which is similar in nature to the chemical structure of API. Related substances may be the byproducts of API synthesis. These may have similar structure to the drug substance. They may be formed during the manufacturing process or synthesis. And these may or may not have the pharmacological or toxicological activities. So impurities are also having, may, may, the, the impurity may also have or may not have the toxicological properties or pharmacological activities. These must be controlled in the API specification and are required to be identified. If related substances exceed the threshold level, then qualification is required to be done. So this is similar in case of the impurities also. Example is given here for duloxetine related compounds H and F and omeprazole related compounds F and G. So these related compounds have the similar structure to the API. Now coming to the degradation product. So an impurity resulting from the chemical change in the drug substance brought about during the manufacture or storage of the drug product by the effect of environmental factors like light, temperature, pH or water or maybe reaction with an excipient or container closure system. So mainly the degradation product is formed due to the degradation of the API. Then related substances are those impurities which have structural similarity with the API and impurities are the substances which are not the part of the drug substance and which are also not the part of drug product. So these are the basic differences between related substances, impurities and degradation products. Many of the time these terminologies are used in the same way but to have the good understanding about the differences is very much required. So everyone who is in the pharma profession should know the basic differences. Also the degradation product may arise due to reaction between the two drug substances in the combination products or degradation products may arise due to degradation of the API because of the incompatibility with the other materials or raw materials excipients or with the container closure system. So these are the basic differences between related substances, impurities and the degradation products. Thank you for watching the video and please do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Share these videos with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.